What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here from Datadash and today is March 19th of 2024. Well folks, I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are because in today's video, I wanna get straight to the point and talk about one of the most under-discussed yet most relevant topics you need to be made aware of, whether you're trading in the short term when it comes to cryptocurrencies, investing long-term, or if you're focused on Bitcoin or altcoins, it's relevant to all of us in the United States and many other relevant jurisdictions and that is the topic of tax strategy. It is probably equally important, if not more important, than your investment strategy. Because at the end of the day, while you might be able to easily make money investing in crypto or other asset classes, your taxes are going to be the biggest thing to eat away at your profits. So today, I want to spend some time to talk about how you can minimize your tax obligations in an entirely legal way. And beyond that as well, I want to talk about a premier platform that can streamline that process, a platform known as iTrust Capital. They're one of our long-term partners here on the channel. We've covered them for years since back during the last cycle, and they've continued to be a state platform that has continued to grow and offer more investment opportunities in the crypto space and better costs and features than a lot of the competition. So I want to go ahead and spend some time here to talk about iTrust Capital, but more importantly, talk about the IRA structure. Now, essentially speaking on iTrust Capital, at the end of the day, it functions a lot like a traditional exchange in the event that you are able to go out and buy a lot of different cryptocurrencies, you can buy and sell. And what's really great is that whether you're a short-term trader or long-term investor, iTrust has got you covered. You can make swing trades, you can invest long-term, but the big difference here is that it's all done within a legal structure known as an IRA. Now, there are a couple different varieties of IRAs, but I wanna go ahead and explain essentially the concept of an IRA. An IRA is an individual retirement account. It's focused on allowing you to make annual contributions whereby the money in that account is ideally gonna be either tax-free once you sell, if you make any type of gains, for example, or beyond that as well, it's going to allow you to essentially defer your tax obligations at a much lower tax rate when you're in going into retirement. So the important thing to understand about an IRA is that unlike a brokerage account or unlike a traditional crypto exchange, the one downside is that you are putting capital away for retirement, irrespective of which structure you pick up here. And if you do want to withdraw from the IRA, you can do that, but you're going to have to pay a penalty fee. That's really the only negative here with an IRA. And you don't have to put all your money in an IRA. You can max out your contribution and still have a Coinbase account or your brokerage account where you buy Bitcoin ETF, you name it. But the key thing here about the iTrust Capital platform is it allows you to maximize your IRA contributions in crypto assets, which have been some of the top performing ones over the last decade. Now, the different structures here are a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, and a SEP IRA. The big difference here is a traditional IRA allows you to essentially put pre-tax dollars, so income that you've made in the year, that you can essentially deduct from your overall net income and put into the IRA account. And from there, you only have to pay tax on it later on when you go into retirement, when you're likely not working a job and probably have a lower income tax bracket. But beyond that as well, your Roth IRA account will allow you to contribute post-tax dollars. So let's say, for example, you want to pay the income tax now on the income that you earned. The money that you put in that account after paying taxes into essentially a Roth IRA is going to be tax-free. So from there on out, you're not going to have to worry about taxes. And when you go into retirement, you'll be able to withdraw the account and all the money within it. So this is a really nice setup as well. If it, I think, again, if you're thinking in the long run here and you don't want to deal with having to manage all the transactions and your annual tax obligations and filing it to the IRS, it could be a huge clarity of mind for a lot of people in the crypto space to not have to worry about that. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have to report taxes on your other transactions outside say your IRA, but just something to keep in mind. And a SEP IRA is very much like a traditional IRA as it's focused on pre-tax dollars, but it's more focused on self-employed individuals. So if you're an independent contractor, you run your own business, SEP IRA might be a structure for you. Now, at the end of the day, guys, I'm not here to be a CPA or tax accountant. So don't just take my word for it. Talk to someone if you really want to make a smart decision about it. There's tons of resources online and iTrust Capital also has a lot of great resources that you can learn about in their Learn Center. But the big thing I want to emphasize is that they've got a whole range of cryptocurrencies, some of our favorite altcoins that we're watching in the market, some of the big movers, as well as the defensive plays like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And on top of that, they even have a complement of offering the ability to invest in precious metals like physical gold and silver that are backed within the iTrust Capital platform with real precious metals, not paper contracts or futures. So this to me is really exciting to be able to have this IRA structure that allows you to really buy into the hedging assets, the alternative asymmetric assets that are separate from global currencies, stocks, and traditional investment vehicles like real estate into these more 
fast growing different types of investment classes, but also having defensive ones as well. So I think that this is a really good counterbalance here between these two things. Not to mention, there's also the ability that if you have a 401k that you've had with a previous employer or your current employer, and you want to roll that over into an IRA, you can do that with an iTrust Capital. So essentially, if you want to take a lot of that capital that might be more exposed to traditional equities, which produce some good returns, but definitely haven't kept up with Bitcoin in the broader crypto market, then what you can do is follow a 401k rollover, which they provide guides and resources to. And from within the application, you can transfer from that account and put it directly in your iTrust Capital where you can purchase cryptocurrencies and continue to contribute to your IRA. So this is something that's really exciting. Beyond your annual contributions, you also have the ability to roll over existing retirement accounts into the crypto space, which could be incredibly beneficial if you're betting on building a long-term crypto portfolio over the next decade, depending on how the market plays out. So this is, again, a way where tax strategy could save you thousands of dollars, depending on your portfolio size. It could save you a ton of tax struggle and worry that you have to constantly deal with if you're just trading in a traditional crypto brokerage account or in a traditional brokerage through Bitcoin ETFs. Now, outside of this as well, iTrust Capital is really simple to get set up. All you got to do is download the mobile application. You guys can also use the link in my description, which will give you guys $100 for free when you finalize setting up your IRA account. But with this, you'll be able to set up an account and basically purchase cryptocurrencies the way you normally do through the exchange. And the great thing about it is it doesn't feel unfamiliar versus a traditional exchange experience. So you're not really kind of trading off anything here by utilizing iTrust Capital. The only thing is that you have to, again, keep in mind with an IRA structure, that you're putting those annual contributions either pre-tax or excluding tax for a later date and with that account you're essentially putting that money away for when you get to the retirement age where you're able to withdraw the account without any penalties so just keep that in mind here because if you do you will have to pay penalties down the line uh, outside of that as well, one thing I think that is very important, you know, when we're talking about the topic of retirement, well, it's one thing to save money on taxes, that's great, but this is money we're putting away for retirement. We need to be serious about security. And I really like that iTrust Capital over the last couple of years has not only bolstered a record of security over its users' funds, but they've also partnered with Fortress Trust, which is a legal SEC-approved custodian of assets. So I think this is a very important thing to keep in mind here, that iTrust Capital is not just some platform that's popped up overnight. They take serious precautions and they don't put all their assets in singular addresses or on the balance sheet of the company. They're not utilizing it for different types of activities or rehypothecating it in the case of Celsius and some of the other companies in the crypto space. In this case, iTrust Capital is focused on providing the legal structure for you to be able to invest in cryptocurrency assets in a tax deferred or tax reduced way. So I think that this is really exciting. If you guys want to dive into the resources around it, I definitely recommend you guys read through the section on Fortress Trust on their website. They have a lot of details around that and we'll dive into anything that you might be concerned about in regards to the security of it. But outside of this as well, the pricing structure for iTrust Capital is probably one of the best and I think most fair I've seen in the industry for cryptocurrency IRAs. First off, you don't have any recurring monthly fee like a lot of the other providers in the market. So there's no initial startup cost to get the IRA set up and along with that as well, no recurring monthly fee. But beyond that as well, you only pay 1% on transaction volume when you're buying or selling. So in the grand scheme of things, this is a minute fraction if you're a long-term investor. And if you're a swing trader at the end of the day, still relatively low cost when you're considering the kind of multiples you can make in crypto and your time frame horizon of being able to swing in and out of positions without having to deal with the annual tax obligation when you make gains. Outside of that as well, they also have fees for physical gold uh, per ounce as well as silver. And overall, these are relatively small in the grand scheme of things. I don't think it'd be so much for trading, but if you're a long-term investor in these pre uh, precious metals, which is generally how people approach it as a hedge, then in this case, it's not really a big deal. And I think overall, it's nice to have the flexibility to have those assets within your account so you can have an additional range of diversity in your retirement account, not to mention physical assets. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that if you want to sign up for an account on iTrust Capital, you can check it out down below in the description. You guys will get $100 if you sign up on my link. But I think it's really important here. I want to put it into perspective as we're going into closing here that no matter how much you make on your capital gains this year across your crypto portfolio, no matter how much you make from your annual income at your job or your business, or depending on how long you've owned your assets, as well as the filing status, whether you're single or married, it is important to understand that taxes can eat away at your profits. 
if you're earning as low as $50,000 a year, your tax rate will be something more like 10%. But along with that as well, if your income moves up, if you're holding assets for less than a year, your tax obligations can go as high as 25 to 30 to even 35% or more. It is so vital to understand your tax strategy. And it doesn't really matter where you're coming from, whether you're a short-term trader, long-term investor, whether you're earning on the lower end or the higher end, or whether or not you're married or single or holding assets for longer, shorter periods of time, it is important and vital to take upon the opportunities we have in order to expand our long-term returns and to actually make sure that we build as much wealth as possible for the events where we're likely gonna need it, like retirement. So I think that an IRA is definitely a sound part of anyone's financial roadmap, but you can of course always consult with a financial advisor, a tax accountant, and determine whether or not it's right for you. But I only ask that if you guys want to sign up for iTrust Capital and set up a crypto IRA, you guys can use the link down below in the description. You get $100 in your account when you finish setting up and it's a great platform that i've worked with the last couple of years that i think delivers on that vision of being able to streamline tax strategy when it comes to investing in crypto thanks so much guys for tuning in as always if you happen to enjoy this video consider dropping a like feel free to check out the link down below in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video take care everyone